Hello, my friends, and welcome back to more or less play Gran Turismo 4. This is Sky Hurricane, and I hope you're having a great day. In the last part, we did and defeated the dreaded Mission 34, and man, that it was fun, but oh man, by the end of it, by the time I finally got it, I was getting kind of ticked, and we won that, and yeah. So now we need to do the European Classic Car Cup. So what cars, hold on. Let me just do it this way. All, and then let's get it set by the years. Because it's got to be something before 1970. It has to be European. We ain't using this. Definitely ain't using that. You can see by the power weight ratio that it's a joke. <laughs> well, we've already used it. Let's do power uh, Mercedes SL Coupe would be a pretty good choice. Mm. We'll use that, though. The Jaguar. If this weren't red, I might use it. No, I didn't mean to get into it. Dang it. It really wants me to use it. It really does. Um, the Lotus Land. I think what I want to use, though, where is it? Where are you? Yeah, I think I want to use this thing. Yep. We're using it. I don't know how in the world you say the name of that color, but it's a thing. So, this thing is going to need some heavy tuning. Very, very much, I imagine. And we're probably going to get just about everything for it. And it's fairly heavy for only 44 horsepower. So we're going to do this weight reduction. And I'm hoping we'll be able to win it with this. If not, that'll suck. I mean, I think we'll be able to. Depends on what opposition we have. So yeah, we're putting everything on it. Only stage one. Well, it's cheaper for me, I guess. Uh, just gonna get semi racing. And same mount, same mount horsepower, but significantly more expensive. Man, this is powerful, ain't it? So powerful. We're barely going to crack 100 horsepower. I don't know if this is going to be doable or not. 102. Might not be very doable. Let's get brakes. Because, yeah, this thing ain't gonna want to stop, probably. Well, as far away, we sank about 70,000 into this. Probably gonna need racing transmission, because, well, this is a 1968. And it only had 44 horsepower, so you know its gears are not gonna be very wide. I mean, it did go from 44 to 102, so hey, that's, that's something. Limited slip. So yeah, we're spending less than 100,000 on this. Hmm. I'm going to get the sports soft tires, because we might... Might need them. A little bit extra grip. Alright, so we spent 95000 on this, I think. Because didn't we have 460000 And we're going to have to figure out a good tune for this as well. So at least we'll be winning it back, though. It's 
five races, so 80000 from this. Well, we'll almost win all the money back. And yeah, first race is at Nürburgring, so... This is a refined championship that covers European sports cars mainly from the 1970s and earlier. All right, here we go. Okay, so looking at our opposition, none of it looks too threatening. We're actually versing the same car that we have. Actually, in the Fiat 500F, the Lotus Land and the Alfa Romeo Gula Sprint GTA. The Alfa Romeo has about the same power weight ratio that this has, I think, stock. Um, I might be overkill on this, I'm not sure. Let's just put it on medium tires. If I end up being... If I end up having a lot of trouble, then I may... Put it on soft, but... This opposition isn't as threatening as I thought it might be. Yeah, springs higher on the rear. And lower on the front. Ride height needs to be the opposite. So, yeah. Okay, so this is kind of what I'm opting for on the suspension to hopefully make it a little bit more stable. Um, kind of what I'm going for. It may, may not work very well, but we're going to try. And so for the gearing, let's use an 8 because I can't see us. Yeah, let's, let's do 9. I can't see this really going that fast. Um, limited slip. My usual rear-wheel drive tune. I'm going to leave that same, but I'm going to increase the initial torque a lot because I'm afraid this might be pretty keen to spin out or lose control. Rear, be a rear engine rear-wheel drive. All right. Just to be on the safe side. Increasing that initial torque pretty high is a pretty safe, you know, thing to do. All right. Whew, how's this going to be? Seven points. So, yeah, we're... I like that blue one. I wish I would have won that color. They gave me this instead. So we're going with it. Yeah, we're a little bit overpowered for this, I guess. Hmm. Hard to imagine. The thing is, we could have had some very high opposition. I think that Alfa Romeo is going to be pretty equal with me. It's the, um, it's this Fiat 500F, which obviously is killing the A-spec points. Oh my golly, the gears are super short. Apparently, 9 was not high enough. Oh, this has six gears, though. Six gears in this thing? Oh, my. This thing turns a little bit too good. I just drove the um, Mercedes SLR McLaren on this track, and it was a lot less crazy, even though it had six times the horsepower. Do y'all have to run me off the road? Do you really have to? Yeah, just as I expected, that Alfa Romeo, he's going to be... He's going to make these races a little bit more interesting, despite it being seven points. <laughs> I 
the Fiat 500F is actually kind of keeping up. Oh yeah, I should have spread the gears higher. I did not think this would go this fast. Though. Yeah, I think I want the initial torque even higher than... I'm glad I raised it because I probably otherwise wouldn't be able to control this. Oh yeah, the Fiat's really losing on on that section. This is going to be a fun cup though because we're going to do some some fun tracks. I think Circa de la Sarth might be in this series. I'm not 100% sure though. So I wonder if I can finish before 9.21. <laughs> or before, uh, what time did I get? 9.12 when I finally won the uh, Mission 34. I wonder if this car can finish before 9.12. That means that this car would beat the... Uh, 1954 Mercedes 300 SL. Yeah, this is pretty controllable with the tune I got. Getting a little rough there, then. Those rear tires are warming up pretty quickly. Rear engine rear wheel drive. A seven point eight second lead already. Might be just a little overtuned. I mean, I guess I could take some stuff off. As I always must. <laughs> that other Volkswagen Karma is way back there. What other cars do we have? We have the Alfa Romeo and the... I don't remember what else we got. Yeah, two other cars. I can't remember what they are. I think if we'd say the 300 SL Mercedes, I think this would have been a lot harder. That's why I tuned this all the way up. You might even be able to say the AC Cobra, because technically it is it is European. The AC 427. I think this car tunes quite a bit more in GT6. I really expect it to get a stage two turbo, not stage one. Yeah, but really, I don't think I need to take more car, more parts off this. This is already slow enough, don't y'all agree?
It makes me wonder, they must not have tuned up the Alfa Romeo at all, because by, with, when it's stock, it pretty much is the same power and weight as this. Um, as this is tuned all the way to the max. <laughs> Jeez, I'm killing them, man. I think I'm killing them worse than I did on the Nebergring 4 hour. And I was pretty equal with them on that as well. I can't remember what the other cars are. Oh, there's a Lotus of land. That's right. I'm actually surprised the land hasn't contested it because man that's a really good handling car you control yourself car overall this has been pretty well behaved I know this car can get very fast too though that's why I did the tuning I did to the suspension and limited slip because I want a nice good pleasurable drive But I'm glad I put it on nine and not eight because we definitely would have hit our max speed. I mean, we almost hit it anyway. I don't think we're going to, though, because we're about to go uphill. About what, 125 or something? I really don't think we're going to go any faster on Circuit de la Sarth, though. So I think leaving it where I have it would probably be fine. Oh man, can we beat the 912? Jeez, and that Mercedes has like 250 horsepower. So the fact that we're almost getting the same time, or the fact that we might beat it, that'd be pretty incredible. Come on, Volkswagen. Oh yeah, I think we definitely got it. Nine oh seven. Yeah, we beat it. We beat the Mercedes this time. Okay, the other car was Alfa Romeo Gilla Sprint Special sixty three. Well, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this car just how it is. I mean, it's not you know it's not overkill. I mean, even though we won by twenty eight seconds. We're pretty equal with that Alfa Romeo, I think. Both of the Alfa Romeos. We only have 100 horsepower. We just are better, you know. We just rolled around the track better. <laughs> the Fiat 500 did. Uh, I need to watch that. Lotus of Land. <laughs> I love these old cars, though. There were so many choices to choose for this. It's, it was really, really hard to make a decision. It really was. So many choices to choose. Ran me off the road. We whoa, we got a little air there. So I'm curious how fast everybody was going. So I think I reached my top speed up here. Or almost reached my top speed. 
I was going 121. The AI doesn't really push as hard as that either. He hit 117. So he was pretty equivalent. He went about 115. So they're laying with 111. And I figure this car was stalled, otherwise it would have gone faster. Struggling to reach 100. Not gonna make it to 100. I bet that thing only has four gear stalled. And then <laughs> the poor Fiat 500F, 67. <laughs> Max speed. Oh, this is gonna be hilarious. I'm gonna be laughing at that this whole championship. Man, I was booking it though. I think this definitely is heavier than Alfa Romeo. At least, you know, without the weight reduction. Put the weight reduction on, then we're equal. Alrighty. I'm not really worried, actually. Alright, Fuji Speedway 80s. And you know what? Since we seem to be so OP, let's see if we're overpay overpowered and let's let Granny try it. Because if she can't win this track, then uh, then we're definitely not overpowered. I'm going to try it on four, although that's sometimes a gamble. Hopefully, she won't run off the road. She already passed somebody. She, oh, the Fiat 500. What a surprise. 25 miles per hour. Go, Granny, go. There she goes. She's already making a move. Might be a little bit overpowered for this if Granny wins easily. Because what well, Granny does. She got by the Alfa Romeo. Yeah, we are going slightly faster. Oh, Granny reached 100. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this land's really good, though. It's better on the corners than our car is. But Granny's keeping it on the road. Then again, I mean, you're going so slow. How can you not stay on the road? I should tell that to myself. Yeah, she's not really gaining very quickly on the land. 1.9 seconds. Mm, hard to tell he's faster. We're going about the same speed. We might be faster on the straight though because I think that land's not going to go quite as fast. Oh yeah. Yeah, Granny, she's beating it on this corner. She's gaining. She's gaining. I don't think we're really overpowered, though. Seem to be pretty equal with the Elan. Yeah, it's only gone 113. And, of course, instead of passing... Oh, never mind. She passed. <laughs> she passed. I thought she was going to get behind it and not pass it. Because that's what a granny does. I really like this, you know, though, because you can kind of get an idea of how everybody else is doing. <laughs> Come on, Volkswagen. You can reach 90. There you go. Oh, man. Oh, man, that Elan is... Ooh, it's really, really not wanting to let Granny get away. I think the Elan is definitely better on the... Well, I know it's better on the corners because I've driven it. As long as Granny keeps it on the road, though, she's got this. Pretty much can almost take this full throttle with this car. Don't go off. Okay, there we go. Oh my heavens, the Fiat almost is a lap behind. It just finished. 
just finished the first lap. <laughs> oh, he's drafting me. Oh, man, it's actually going faster by drafting. But we won. Yeah, we're definitely not overpowered, though. We're pretty pretty equivalent. Let's see if uh, the Alfa Romeo's finished. They do. And uh, the other one's definitely ain't. Well, I figure why not let Granny get a little more experience, you know? Why not? That was a pretty easy race anyway. Wasn't going to take much effort on my part, I don't figure. Okay, so Opera Paris. Now this one's going to take some effort on my part. Because, ugh, this track. Here we go. You know, the Fiat 500F might not be as far behind on this track. We already passed it before the race even starts. That's, that's great. Is this reverse? Oh my god, it is. It is reverse. Oh, I just got busy thinking about it. This car is really stable, man. It actually didn't try to kill me there. I might need the nitrous on this track because I suck on it reverse. I'm not really, I'm not any good on it forward. Oh! Dang it. Yeah, am I pike case in point? Oh my freaking god, I'm really sucking. Well, at least I was nice though. Instead of taking him out, I... I opted to um, run myself into the wall, so. Those racing brakes didn't help all that much, did they? <laughs> For this old, old thing. And somehow we're already caught him again. I'm trying to pass you cleanly. Oh my heavens, you're in my way and did not expect you to slam on your brakes in front of me. Okay, I think we can win this. It's a good sign that the land's not in the front, yeah. We don't make mistakes like we did on the last lap. Oh, God. I really probably should use the nitrous. Okay, I'm using. If I didn't suck so bad, I could have done it without it. But I mean, I might have still been able to. But uh, I'm getting way too close to the end of the race, and so bad at this track reverse man why why do we have to do it reverse oh my oh my case absolutely killed myself three times in this race 
<sighs> I only have so many lives, you know. <laughs> I was too busy concentrating on not killing myself that I had no idea how far behind 5th and 6th were. But, but they were pretty far behind. winning most of our money back all right so zuka one lap oh boy this is gonna be a quickie all right definitely will be easier than than the last race This thing packs a punch when it's tuned all the way up. Didn't you? I actually am faster on the acceleration than they are. At the start, you know, at least. As long as we don't make mistakes, this is pretty easy. Keeping pretty stable though, and smoothly going around the corners. Kept it above 70 the whole way. Okay, I'm trying to take that full throttle was not a good idea. Look at that land just flawlessly going through it. Yeah, that land is a really good handling car. Like, man, it is so good. It probably could take that full throttle. <laughs> like, seriously, it probably really could. I definitely think the land is better. I don't know. I'll check the power way ratios after after this, because I have all those cars in my garage. I have the Alfa Romeo and the, the Land. Although I think the Alfa Romeo I used and I probably done weight reduction stage one on it. I didn't do much to it though. Me killing them on the burgering was definitely not a sign of how this was going to go. With it. I thought Circuit de la showed up in this, but I guess it doesn't. All right. Almost there, baby. Look at how far back the Fiat 500F was. It hadn't even made it to the hairpin yet. That is hilarious. <laughs> and the Lotus and the Alfa Romeo are tied. our 100 horsepower to work, ain't we? So what's our last race going to be on? kind of hope it's Circuit de la No, it's Deep Forest. Well, dang, what a bummer. What a sad bummer. I like Deep Forest, though. So I'm not that sad. <laughs> the Fiat 500 is. I should have used that. I really should have. 
I mean, with this opposition, I actually probably could have done it with that. It would have been... I, I would have definitely had to use nitrous, though. you cleanly although I almost hit you in the booty almost you know this car doesn't look like it's black it looks like it's kind of a ooh. it's kind of a ooh. it's like it's kind of a greenish color like a really 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 dark green I'm not sure it's the the name of the color is in German and I have no idea how to say it or what it means oh my god Wow, Carl, you did so great on the Burger Green, and then Deep Force is what kills you. Let's see. Okay, a lanyard. Kind of just putting along there for some reason. I feel like that Alpha Romeo really is not pushing it very hard. Four seconds. The land is gaining on him, though. He might go down. <laughs> you know, I almost decided to take that full throttle, then I was sec at the last second, I had second thoughts on that being a good idea. Mm, slowly pulling away. go. Car is behaving very well. And interestingly, this car is actually boxer, so I think you can use it in the boxer challenge, but I don't know how you'd win it. I'd like to see somebody do the boxer challenge with this. I think it'd be hilarious. I'm sure it's possible. You'd probably have to nitrous it all the way. I mean, the good thing is this car does have good traction, so if you did have to rely on nitrous, I mean, might be, might be possible. Oh, man, it would be very difficult. Though. Yeah, the Alfa Romeo really held up the Lotus, didn't it? Seven points. Oh, the Lotus did get past them. Past it. 9.3 seconds. Jeez. And that is that, my friends. That is that. Pretty fun. Pretty fun championship. Some. I love these classic cars. That's why I'm going to love a thousand miles so much. The thing is, I probably wouldn't want to use something this slow for that, though. <laughs> Even if that's how much the other cars are tuned, which it will be. So, yeah, the land ended up getting out sec squeaking out second at the very end there. Alrighty. All right, what is our prize for that? Oh, oh, really? Mercedes-Benz Patent Motor Wagon 86. Wagon with the E. <laughs> All righty. There we go. Yeah, you can't use that for any races, but I will show that off along with the other motor carriage we got and the other things we can't drive, like the Nike car and other stuff. All right, so we'll be kicking up in speed a little bit with the Swartz League A in the next part. I got quite a few things I could use for that figure. Oh, yeah, 78.2%. Might reach 80% tonight. So, yeah, let's, um, 
Look at that Mercedes. <laughs> oh, ain't it just beautiful? See his stats there and his other one. They're both 1886s. This one looks cooler. I figure this one would be slower because it looks heavier. Hmm. So like I was saying, let's uh let's actually look at the uh, let's have it organized by year like I did. And then let's do power weight ratio. And let's just compare. Yeah, 54 Corvette, 4.855, and it's not tuned all the way. Mercedes, 6.0, but it's not tuned at all. Jaguar, 4.5, it's not tuned at all. The Land, 6.030. So, yeah, the Alfa Romeo, 5.763. But I actually think... Yeah, 722, but it does have a weight reduction stage 1. And maybe a computer chip. But it ain't tuned that much. 7.524, yeah, quite a bit worse. Yeah, the Alfa Romeo stock definitely has a better power weight ratio than this does. <laughs> Look at this when it's not tuned, 19.03. Alrighty, well that was pretty fun though. I enjoyed driving this old thing. So I hope y'all enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed driving. And I hope to see you again for the next part. So I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And as always, stay awesome my friends. Goodbye y'all. Hey my friends, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button down below. Also subscribe and hit the little bell icon for notifications of future videos. There are a lot of reasons to subscribe to the channel, including monthly giveaways, things on the Discord such as karaoke Saturdays, a place for show and tell where you can advertise your own channel or your own talents. Regardless of what you choose, stay awesome everybody.